A local teacher and business owner received some much deserved recognition for saving the life of a man moments before he jumped from an overpass during a mental health crisis. As Daryl Walker drove down 88th Street on the afternoon of February 3rd, he recalls there was traffic at a standstill. And the reason why it turns out was a distraught man threatening to jump from the Quilcita Creek overpass. Walker parked his car, told his oldest child to call 911, and he approached the man from a distance. He talked to him until he was able to safely get closer and then physically stop him from falling. Walker stayed with the man until Marysville police arrived and firefighters took him to the hospital. So I've been teaching for 20 years and I thought if I know him, maybe I can make a connection or something. So I, I, um, I just ran over to him and everything in me was, I was just going to do whatever I could to get him to talk him down or whatever. He was yelling at some people to stay back. and. I don't know why, I just, I felt like God put me there in the right time, you know, and I just walked straight up to him and like I knew him. Walker says other people had also gathered to try to talk that young man down from the ledge, and while one woman had his attention, he was able to safely put his arms around the man. I was able to grab him from underneath and bring him back over the railing, and I sat with him there on the sidewalk. Um, it was just... It was a it was a pretty intense moment, but I don't know. I, I just felt like so I, I had to do that. You know, there was there was no other choice. There was no other option. And as I sat there with him, he was trying to kind of wrestle away a little bit, and and I was like, I can't I can't let you do this. You know, and um, he told me he had had a rough couple of months, um, and I just I said, you know, this is a rough time for all of us. Well, first responders presented Walker with a plaque honoring his actions during a small ceremony at uh, Tulalip's Heritage High School where Walker teaches physical education. He formally accepted the award during a virtual council meeting uh, last night. So right place, right time, and, of course, right person for the job. Fortunately, he was there.